Greetings everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Andy Wa. I do tech tutorials, vlogs, fun and challenges. And today we're going to do something fun. Uh, I'm going to be sharing with you an uh, unboxing. Uh, last week was my birthday. But I didn't receive any gifts on my birthday. So I decided to buy a gift for myself. And that is pretty sad, actually. Aww. But someone just got me a cake. <laughs> but the uh, name on the cake was spelled wrong. Aww. Unless my name is Kirk. You know, Kurt Angle. That cake really doesn't belong to me. But I got a cake anyway. So I guess that's a good thing. And all this is true. It's damn true. Anyway, let's get to the unboxing. I got myself a mini PC. Let me give you some context of why I got a mini PC. Um, I don't watch uh, DVDs or Blu-rays anymore. What? That's because all of my movies are digital copies. Now, I already uh, converted all my existing DVDs into digital copies. I created a tutorial on how to do that. I leave a link up there if you want to know how to do that for yourself. And uh, I have it all stored on my computer. Now, some of you would say, but what if you want to watch your movies on the TV? Or on your phone or on your tablet? Things of that nature. Or even when you're outside, you want to, you know, watch something or show a friend. You know, some people could bring their DVDs over to a friend's house and show them. Well, anyway, I have a piece of software installed on my computer called Plex. It's a media server that lets you stream your content to your TV, as long as it's a smart TV. Your phones, iOS, Android, doesn't matter. Roku devices, other computers, uh, tablets, iPads, you name it. You could stream to all those devices. Whoa. You could pretty be your own Netflix. As well, you could also, while you're out, you could also access your movies from home. So this piece of software is really great. Um, if some of you are interested and want to learn how to get the software and install it could create a tutorial for it just leave in the comments below if you're interested but anyway I don't want to tie down my computer with the software I want something to be more dedicated 24 7 because I don't want to leave my own computer on all the time so I got this mini PC to kind of uh, do that so I could install Plex on it connect the hard drive with all my digital content and I could stream off that instead of, you know, leave it on my computer. All right, let's, let me show you what I'm going to be unboxing today. And this is uh, the B-Link uh, mini PC. I already, you know, took off <laughs> the plastic for it because I wasn't planning to uh, do a video about it, but I figure, hey, would be a good thing to unbox than uh, a new toy pretty much hopefully uh it will work <laughs> but um you know nowadays you know china have been producing a lot of good tech so after all you got huawei chinese company and uh apple uh produce all its uh phones over at china so so yeah it should be good it should be good um now the specs for this uh, it includes a Powell Lake Pentium processor, 4-core Celeron processor, but the base gigahertz is uh, 1.5. These processors kind of go from a range, uh, from 1.5 to 2.6. Uh, ideally, it should be at 1.5 um, because it is a mini PC, it's, there's some limitation to that. So anyway, let me unbox the mini computer for you to check out. Alright, let's start taking stuff out. 
So. Okay. We got uh, a power brick. And a couple of uh, look like uh, HDMI or USB cables. And uh, this is the computer itself. front you got two uh, USB 3.0 and a headphone jack and the back you got two more USB 3.0 ports a uh, LAN port two HDMI ports and a power uh, port And I'm assuming this is the SD card slot. What else is in there? Couple of uh, books and stuff. And uh, looks like underneath it, there is uh, a mounting plate. I guess you can mount this behind a monitor or something. And some screws. that pretty much it um, this is a B-Link mini PC uh, you know sporting uh, uh, Powell Lake uh, quad-core J4205 processor uh, with 8 gigs of RAM 128 gigs of storage and um, should be able to stream 4K on this thing. Alright, let's get it installed. And let's boot it up and see what it looks like. Okay, let's uh, boot up the computer. Uh, as you see, I got my hard drive connected to it. Let's see how it fast it boots up. So about 12 seconds. Now that's not bad considering, you know, I didn't have fast boot enabled yet. Anyway, I already set it up and did some messing around. Okay, I just logged in. Um, let me show you. It is a uh, Intel Ceron quad core processor uh, running at uh, 1.5 to 2.6 range and it's uh, 8 gigs of memory and uh, 128 gigs of hard drive space. Being 100 28 gigs of hard drive space and here's my uh, movie drive to attach and um, this machine is uh, I have to say I really um, I like it so let's go to YouTube As you see it browse the web pretty quickly. I mean it's not the fastest thing on the world but it gets the job done. I would say these uh, mini PCs are ideal for office. Uh, if you have a small office you may want to get three or four of these to set up a small office. No. 
that would be ideal. Also, I already have Plex installed. If you're interested in checking out this mini PC, I leave the Amazon link in my description so you can go and check it out. Here's all my movies. I got pretty much a collection of uh, English, Chinese, Japanese, Korean movies. And it's all format in a Netflix kind of uh, interface. Post the descriptions and all this other stuff. Like I said, if you're interested in knowing more about Plex, you know, leave in the comments below and uh, I would uh, create a tutorial later down the line. Anyway, that's pretty much it. This uh, computer, uh, you know, uh, is ideal for what I need to do. Um, I'm sure if uh, you have a larger family uh, and with a lot more devices you may want to get a faster computer to run Plex but for myself uh, this is sufficient all right leave in the comments below uh, if you want to if you're interested in learning more about Plex and if you like this video hit the like button make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorials, vlogs, fun and challenges, and uh, hit the notification bell to get notified when I release new videos. As always everybody, have a nice day, and i see you on the next video. Take care everyone. <laughs>